Hey YouTube, what is going on? True Blue Card Collector. I wanted to shoot this as a little send off here. We put together finally our very first card submission for our channel. Um, I'm going to show you what we're sending off and then once we get it back we'll do a follow up video to show you um, what we got as far as grades. So I wanted to show you what we got. So we got 50 cards, 50, 5 zero, that we're sending out to SGC. And the reason we're sending them to SGC is because it doesn't make sense to send them to PSA at that inflated $200 per card. Because if you don't get a 10, you're not going to get any money out of it. You know what I mean? That kind of pricing. So I'm going to show you what we got here. We've got a jumbo size Kirill Kaprizov and the Young Guns. That's a really cool card and that's in great shape. So as long as that centering and everything's good on that, that should get a good grade. And he's a hot rookie. A lot of value in his cards. Even the jumbos have good value. Even as the raw card, it's like a $45 card, I believe, uh, with SGC and the submission we used. Yeah, so that Kaprizov, that one was, where are we at here? The Kaprizov, sorry guys, got it right here. Okay, so the raw card is $40. So if we can get a 10 out of that, that's going to increase the value enough. And at 30 bucks, even if I don't get a 10 and I get like a nine, nine and a half, I'm still up, you know, 10 bucks on the card versus being up 40 bucks on the card. You know what I mean? So it's not too bad. All right, let's get through some of these other SGC ones we got here. We got Justin Herbert Chronicles, clearly rated rookie. Very nice centering on that one. Hope for a good grade on there. We got a nice Luis Roberts Top Chrome Refractor. That one should get us a nice grade too. The face on that looked really good. Corners look sharp. And we're sending this one off. So they say the patches don't usually do that well. And I'm okay with that. Um, uh, on a card like this, 2017, I'm willing to risk $30 to see if this card will get a 10. Um, if it gets a 9.5, cool. I, I'm still going to make money on it. If it gets a 9, you know, maybe I crack it and I just sell the raw card again. So that's that's one of those ones that at 30 bucks to me, the risk is there. It's worth it. we got a field level. Justin Herbert in the 2020 Select, just the base, but a nice rookie card. We got our case hit from uh, the uh, the downtown version there, Isaac Okuru, and that one could be a really, really nice one for us too. Uh, case hits usually drive a, a good value for them, and that one was Isaac Okuru on the case hit. That one was the Chronicles downtown. That one raw card is worth about $62 right now on eBay. Um, so the way they use, the way SGC does it, is they use your raw card value to, for determination of what the value of the card is for grading purposes. So um, that way when they grade it, they can kind of do their calculation to kind of see where your final value is. Uh, we got some stickers here. These stickers are to help them just get them in and out of the sleeves a little easier. Got a couple Michael Jordan versus Magic Johnson 1991. Uh, Skybox cards there, those should be pretty good. The centering on them is really good. So as long as the surface doesn't really have any issues that I didn't see, we should be okay. We got a nice Michael Jordan Skybox there. And these ones are PC cards. So even if these are gonna grade a nine, I don't care. Uh, 1989 NBA Hoops, got a couple of Michael Jordans there with some really nice centering. Corners look crisp. We got a LaMelo Ball Impact. And this one I was torn because it's very close to whether or not I even care about this one. The the raw card value on this just isn't there. It's uh, I think it's only like eight to ten bucks or something like that as a raw. But it is a Lamella ball, so if we can get a good score, good grade out of it, um, there's I didn't see any graded ones for SGC on there on eBay, so we could get some nice stuff out of that or nice value out of that. We got Lamella ball crusades and the red cracked ice. Another one that not a high value card as a raw, but graded it should do well. Anthony Edwards works in progress. And that one is about a $45 card raw. So that one definitely, if it grades well, is gonna be really nice for us. This is a PC one we're sending off. Another one of those patch cards that, you know, it doesn't matter to me what it grades. It, we just wanted a case for it, you know what I mean? Uh, a slab. So we're gonna send it to SGC, 24 out of 25. Matthew Stafford on the patch there. Really nice looking patch. We had a white Tom Brady uh, in the 2020 Select prism die cut so that one right there is a really really nice card that one's worth uh, about 20 bucks as a raw card um, another pc card that you know even if it only gets a nine it's going to look really cool with that black slab so tom brady red 
Uh, that one's out of $3.99. That one is about a $40 card raw. Well, this one right here, guys, this one was tough because there are no comps for this on eBay right now. This is the 2020 Contenders Draft Picks Legacy Red. And this one, he, this is the red zone. So this is only numbered to 20, Charles Woodson and Tom Brady. And again, this is a PC card. I don't care what this card grades. Obviously, I want the 10 because that would be fantastic. But I have no intentions of selling this card at all. Uh, two elite Michigan players, and I'm a huge Michigan fan. I just want to see this card in a slab. And at 30 bucks, I can justify sending this in. Um, but I cannot justify paying $200 right now to send it in another pc card here barry sanders in the flash this is a really nice looking card about 18 bucks in the raw we got tom brady and the diamond for prestige that one there is about a 37 dollars card raw we got the tom brady heroes out of prestige that is about a 15 dollars card raw again those ones are pc cards don't care what they grade obviously we want the tens um, but I know some of those are probably going to come back at nine, nine and a half. And again, I am okay with that. We had a nice looking Trey Lance pink field level rookie in the 2020 select. Oops, we're going to have to stand these up because they're not going to stay in there that way. Got to stand those up and then we'll get these all pack packaged up and shipped out afterwards here. We got a nice white Tua Tungavailoa in the white die cut field level. That one's going to be a really nice one for us. That one is um, about a $100 raw card. So that's that one, if that grades really well, is going to be fantastic for us. This one I'm concerned about for the grade. Um, and if it doesn't grade well, which I don't think, I think it's going to get a 9, possibly an 8.5. There is an indentation from Panini right along this line right here. It's a small indentation in the card. You can see it when you shine the light just a certain way, and that, I think, is going to kill the value on this card. Um, as it sits, it's a $100 raw card. This is numbered out of 10. 3 out of 10. It's the gold prism. And, uh, yeah, I'm really hoping that that kind of gets overlooked or they don't take that into account. But, you know, these grading companies, if they're good, they will, and, and I understand that. But for the time being, we can get it in a slab at least. There's no, <clears throat> I think there's only like, there was no sold comps on that. So we're just kind of going off of the auto and adjusting from that. And here we got the purple shimmer. This one is numbered to seven. This one should do really well too. I'm concerned that maybe there's a couple small print lines on there. But I don't know if they're print lines or if I'm just seeing it because of the way the shimmer hits it and it makes it look like a print line. Um, but to me, it almost seems like there's a couple print lines on it, and that's fine. I, I want to get it graded. I want to see where it comes in at. We got the Cabrian Hayes Red Shimmer Auto. That one, again, is numbered to seven. And we know the centering on this one's a little bit off. We're just hoping it's not so far off that we can't still get like a nine, nine and a half on it. Um, below that, um, it's a cracked case, and we, we go ahead and sell the raw card. Uh, one of those sold for about $400 raw. So <clears throat> that's one that if the centering was good, I'd send it to PSA and see what they say. We got the Miguel Yahur. This is two out of three in the purple shimmer. And this one is about a $150 card. Again, no comps because it's two out of three card. So we're using his other autographed cards and other purple shimmer cards as a base to kind of come up with the theoretical value on the card as it sits. Um, now, this could be easily worth way more than what I'm expecting it to be, but this one, the, the centering on it, just like the red shimmer was, it's off a little bit to the right. So we're not expecting a 10 on this. But, you know, if we could get a 9, 9.5, that gives us a starting point with the card. And we can always just put a reserve on, like, an eBay auction and see where the bidding gets to. This one here was a really nice hit for us, guys. This is a case hit out of Prestige. This is Troy Palomalu, and this is an SSP card. And this one right here is about 100. This has two of them have sold on eBay for an average of about 180 to 190 dollars raw. And the centering on this one looks really nice. The corners look really good. My only concern is with the black card. It's very easy to get the white flaking on the edges, you know, from just little little tiny nicks. So it depends how much they focus on that 
um, as to what this grade gets. We got this nice Ryan Mount Castle 1099 Auto for Immaculate. I think that one's going to do okay for us too. This one here is about a $38 card raw, so a nice grade on that would be good for us. Uh, we got Cabrian Hayes in the Green Inception, and this was another one that didn't have a lot of comps, and we just kind of gave this one an uh, estimated value of about $30. We got a couple base rookie cards here for Trevor Lawrence out of Luminance. Not a lot of value in them as a raw card. Luminance isn't a high demand product when it comes to the rookie cards, but if you get a grade on them, then they certainly can be. We got a nice Zach Wilson purple circle for the Prisms. This one we're going to send in just because it's the hollow version um, or the Swirlorama version, just to see what we can get out of this. This card, as it sits, has sold on eBay for about $50. So if we can get a 10 on this, which I think it's possible, you know, even though it's this, this trading card game card, it is a rookie card for him, and it is a hollow version, which, you know, we should be able to get, you know, 150 200 bucks out of this after it's graded, I would imagine, um, because there's not going to be any more of them out there. You know, it's going to be a pop one. We've got a Kyle Trask Prism rated rookie. And that one is a Chronicles. Then we got this nice Trey Lance Leaf Auto here. This one here is... Uh, we're really hoping for a nice grade on that. Um, the centering looks pretty good. My only concern with this card, and that's this stuff here is on the on the sheeting itself, but there's there's a little tiny scuff right up here in this corner, which might cause us to get you know a nine nine and a half. Um, overall, not too concerned about it. Again, Trey Lance Auto. It's going to be one of those ones that um, I don't know. I should have taken that sticker off there. That's okay. No worries. Um, yeah, it's one of those cards that easily could get a tremendous amount of value, especially once he starts playing as the starter for San Francisco. You know, so this is what I'm sending in early in anticipation of getting a good grade on this card and holding it till he becomes the starter when his cards then pop. Because anytime you become the starter, your cards pop. We got Trey, Trevor Lawrence in the Rated Rookie. That one, again, is from Chronicles. We got this cool, this was one of our first boxes we did on the channel. This was a Court Kings. Uh, we got this Lamella Ball dual color swatch there. So we're hoping to get a good one out of that. Again, you know, the patch cards are tough because of how thick it is. It's hard to keep the corners crisp in them, but we'll hope, we hopefully can uh, can accomplish that. Another Kirill Kaprizov. This is the SPX Elite. Uh, this card itself isn't super valuable as it sits. It's only about an $8 to $10 card. But again, top rookie, if we can get a good grade on it, there's no other ones out there that have the grade that I saw. At least they're not posted and haven't sold. So, you know, that could then drive the value up. We got another Cabrian Hayes autograph here in the Signature Series, Dunross. We got a Mike Clout out of 125, or sorry, out of 36. This is 22 out of 36. Another one of those patch cards, but a fantastic player and a very sweet card. Raw card sits at about $125 for the card. So this one here, if it grades really well, could be a huge boost for us as far as value. Sean Kemp out of 15 on our auto here. This is 3 out of 15. This is about an $87 to $90 card. Some, like one or two of them sold for about $100 um, on eBay. So another one of those ones, no graded ones out there that I saw so far. So getting a grade on this, having a low, low pop on it, that's going to entice buyers to pay more money for it. And to spend 30 bucks on a $100 card, even if it's a bad grade, you crack the case, you turn around, keep your $70 profit on it. We got Anthony Edwards Acetate Rookie from Court Kings for 2020. And this one here is about a $20 card as it sits raw. So that one should be a decent return. We had a couple, we got three Trevor Lawrence Spectra cards. And these are worth about seven bucks a piece. Um, but as a graded card, they, they could be worth uh, 50 to 70 bucks, depending on the day of the week, really. Um, so we're hoping we can get a couple tens out of these, have a nice little return out of those. We had Joe Adele, rookie card. This is the Carolina Blue, the Navy Blue Carolina Blue for Prism. Um, very nice looking autograph for a rookie and this one's numbered 23 of 25 so another low number card there hoping to get a really nice grade on it the centering on this card looks really really nice so 
these prism cards, usually you get these little spots on the card where it's a little tiny indentation. And those are my only concerns because I've seen tens that when you look at the pictures closely, those indentations are there. So, and that's on PSA too. So I don't know if the grading card companies are really hitting on those or if they're looking more for actual scratches in the card. Uh, this is a one out of 10, number one out of 10 gold, Chris Bryant on card. Tops 2021 Series 2, 35th anniversary in the gold, numbered 1 out of 10. No, he's not with the Cubs anymore. Um, there's been a couple of these have sold on eBay, and there's a couple still listed. There's one for like 200 bucks. There's one for um, uh, like 300 and I think somebody else has one for like 400 and they haven't moved off those prices, and they've been relisted previously. But, you know, one sold with the combination of a couple other cards for like 60 bucks which is weird that it would only go for 60 bucks there was another one that sold by itself for like 110 or 150 something like that um but i think with a grade on this only being a, a number to 10 card anyway if we can get a 10 on the auto 10 on the card um certainly that's going to be something that um is going to drive up the value of that card we got this pete alonzo on card bazooka back gypsy queen 23 out of 25 another low count card on card auto and he just cracked 100 home runs uh second fastest to do that in major league history so that's going to boost his cards up significantly because now there's going to be anticipation of how quick he can get to 200 um, and then 300 and so on and so forth so that's going to help boost the value of this card significantly um, there have been none of these on ebay for sale or um sold so there are no comps whatsoever on this one so we were going off of some of his other cards some of the other bazooka back autos and we came up with a rough value of about a hundred dollars uh raw on this card as it sits and then we have this orange laser uh this is the um the dunross uh orange laser rated rookie lamello ball and this card here, we put this one at a raw value of $80. That's based on comps, and that's an average. You know, some sold for 90, some sold for 95, some sold for 72, you know, depending on the auction. There are a couple of these graded, and they sell for quite a bit of money. So we're really hoping we can get a really nice grade on this because that is going to be huge for us on that. So that's our SGC. So we have a total of 50 cards going to SGC, and we have three that are going to go to PSA. And if you guys remember one of our videos, we ripped out two LeBron James Red Cracked Ice back-to-back -back packs in the exact same box. And both of them have just fantastic centering on them. The corners on them look amazing. The edges looked amazing. We've we've wiped the faces off and the backs off of fingerprints. And we, we did our due diligence to clean them and make sure they're really nice. Raw, the cards are selling for about 117 bucks a piece. We want to get 10s on these because I think with these, if we get a little, if we get 10s on both of these at 200 bucks a piece, the cards are worth 117. Um, so we're really, you know, even if we got a terrible grade on the card and had to crack the case and turn around and sell it for $117 or $115, we'd only be out 85 bucks, right, um, on each card. But I don't think that's going to be the case with the centering on these being the way they are, unless there's some serious issue with the face of the card that I cannot see because of the red cracked ice, then these are going to be worth some money. Um, I have not seen a single one of these graded, um, so it's very possible, and I haven't looked up the pop report on this, so it's very possible these could be a, a if you get two here and there are no other ones and you get two tens, I mean, that's pop one, pop two, and you own both of them. I mean, that, that's where the, the, the bidders and the buyers just start giving you their money at that point in time. Um, and this card here sells for about uh, 475 to 500 bucks. Some I've seen listed and one had sold at 600 um, as a raw card. So if this one can get a PSA 10, and I did the measuring on the name here, and that name is dead center on the card. So as long as the rest of this card is good, I think this one here is going to end up resulting in about a $1,500 to $2,400, maybe $3,000 value, um, depending. Because, again, there's no graded versions of this card yet out there for sale on eBay. 
Um, and that's what most everybody uses for their comps. So that's our submissions, guys. Um, it's going to take a little bit to get these back. SGC says six to eight weeks. Panini, or not Panini, but uh, PSA, who knows? Um, it, it just really depends. Um, our SGC order is going off to gotbaseballcards.com. I'll drop the link in the description below. You can check them out. Um, actually, go through uh, sportscardinvestor.com. I'm going to drop that link in the description below, too. Um, they have submission forms for all of the grading services. GotBaseballCards.com will, for free, review your cards for you before sending them in. Um, you don't get charged for that service at all. It's completely free. It's a way for you to kind of not pay for cards that are going to score sevens and eights that they can tell right away. They're going to get that information to you. They're going to say, hey, this is what we think of the cards based on what we would do with our own cards. And do you want us to still send these in? Do you not want us to send these in? What do you want us to do? And then they adjust your order form from there. The PSA ones I'm sending directly to PSA um, instead of going through the pre-screening because they just it's three cards. I know the basic criteria that they're looking for, and I try to do very due diligent research on the cards to make sure I'm getting the card that needs to be the way it needs to be to send it in to get a good grade. Um, but yeah, we'll see. You know, sometimes you get a grader that had a bad day and you get a bad grade, you know. Um, that's the downside with human graders. And I think that's where HGA is going to have some some future value using their digital format where the humans are just the verifiers of the grade that the computer assigned um, versus um, the humans being the ones that are determining the grade. So yeah, so this is uh, fingers crossed for us, guys. Um, total Total cost here. Um, just under $2,100 with return shipping. Return shipping through gotbaseball.com is free. They do not charge you for that because they want your business. They want you to keep coming back and using them for all of your needs for sports cards and stuff. So they provide this service free of charge to then get you to be a customer for them. Um, PSA Direct, they charge based on the value. They charge an insured amount to return ship to you. And I highly recommend when you ship your cards out, insure them for what the estimated value of the card is at its raw form so that way if something does happen during shipping you are covered for your items you know if they if they destroy your package and now your you know thousands of dollars of cards are ruined you know you want to have insurance on that it's not that expensive guys um you know the, the got baseball.com you can have your stuff insured on the way back one dollar for every hundred dollars so, I mean, that's that's not that bad. If you get $2,000 in cards coming back to you, that's 20 bucks. Well worth it to protect that investment. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the content, give us a big thumbs up. Give us a big thumbs up as a good luck charm to get some killer grades on these cards. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button down below. We really appreciate each and every one of you stopping out, checking out our videos. I know this one was a little bit longer, but we have some good info in the video, and I hope it helped you out. And I hope it helps you make a better decision on the cards that you're going to submit for grading. Um, and if you ever have any questions at all, just shoot me a message down below in the comments and I'll respond to you and let you know what I think and give you my feedback as well. So thanks again, guys. Really appreciate y'all and have a great day.